I specifically, when I hired a principal, I hired someone probably as different as me than me as possible because I didn't need, I already had me. I don't need two me's. I need someone right. who, you know, who, what, and she was incredible with data. I, I'm not doing that stuff. Right. Whereas, you know, the principal I work for when I was a assistant principal, he was good at that stuff. So is there, you know, I don't, and maybe there's something different in, you know, Florida leadership, or is that something that, you know, people look at like, Hey, what is the strength of this person in this? Because a lot of people are kind of turned off by going into admin because they say, well, that's, I have to do those things. I'm like, not, that's not, if you're not good at them, right. A good principal will put you in a place of strength, not just say, this is the assistant principal's job, whoever gets it. So how do you see that? I, I, no, I agree. I think it, you know, what, what I would look for is just someone who would best, um, and in a sense, compliment me and balance things out. Um, because like prime example is oftentimes uh, for principal and assistant principal, when you become a principal, you no longer have bus duty, you have car duty, right? Bus duty's got the referrals, car duty. I mean, how many times would you get a car duty referral? I mean, that's, you know, that, right. but, but like for me, I don't mind the bus part of it. I don't mind having to ride on a bus if I need to for student right. behavior or whatever. And just where those strengths are, like data it is a strength of mine. But um, if something else needs attention or, you know, if there's something else that I need more, like I have more of a math and science uh, background. Right. And but there might be someone that's got more of the, the ELA social studies side of things. And I'd want that kind of balance because again, we always talk about the whole child Well, I'm, I'm looking at the whole school right. and how to best balance things out for the support of our staff. And that could even trickle down to like, we have instructional coaches. We could have someone, you know, oversee math and someone oversee uh, language arts and be able to tap into the strengths. Um, our county uses the, um, uh, the Clifton uh, strength finder and right. we have like our top five. And I mean, I'm one that would always want to see even within our like um, PLCs within our grade levels, or even within our, um, you know, leadership team, what are our strengths? What are our top five strengths? And because again, that should really balance each other out because everybody, if they're all on one side of things, you're never right. going to, you want that kind of, I'm not going to say conflict, but you want that discussion. You want right. to make sure all sides are considered and you're not going to have that if you <clears throat> hire in a way where it's going to just complement things or do things that you're already good at doing. It's got to right. be that, you know, more of a balance. So Love that's that. what I would look for. And, and everyone who's listening, um, if you're assistant principal right now, if you're a principal, if you're wanting to go in those roles, I've actually listed, uh, there's a link to an article called four attributes of a great assistant principal. I just pulled it up uh, while I was listening to Dan and he, he knocked off some of the things that I talked about. Um, several years ago. So I'm excited uh, if people are interested in reading that, check it out down below.